I'm Joseph Thormig of the Jogoland Group, and welcome to Joe Biz. One day while I was training a cashier, she made a common beginner's mistake. I said, let me show you what you did wrong. No, no, just tell me who to call to fix it. But it's very simple. If I show you what you did wrong, you won't make the same mistake no, again. No, 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 no! I don't want to know! Just tell me who to call! I could see I wasn't going to get anywhere with her, and being a mere cashier myself and not a supervisor, I couldn't order her to listen, so I acquiesced. But I kept thinking, why doesn't she even care to know? Obviously, she just wanted to be fed a set of simple commands that required no independent thought on her part. The management in that store, unfortunately, encouraged that kind of attitude. But even the simplest jobs require a modicum of attentiveness and care. The trouble is, applicants don't walk into interviews with signs that say, I truly care, or I say I care, but I really don't. So how can a manager tell if an applicant possesses these qualities of attentiveness and care? One way is to ask the applicant a theoretical question involving some skill that he or she does not possess. For example, say something like, Let's say I wanted you to make a late 19th century bustle dress. How would you do it? If their answer is merely, I don't know, you've probably got the wrong person for the job. Even if the applicant has the slightest idea, they can still say something like, I guess I'd have to Google it so I know what you're talking about, and then uh, since it's some kind of dress, I'd have to find a pattern, and then I would hit you up to pay for some sewing lessons. A good employee cares enough to ask questions to do their job better, whether they're making a 19th century bustle dress or just running a register, and a good boss appreciates it. Incidentally, that cashier was arrested a couple of months later for stealing from the registers. I'm Joseph Thormig of the Jogoland Group. Thanks for watching.